Okay, so today we at uh, Inertion, we're testing the current and power for the hub motors. So basically, we're going to run one hub motor against a um, 6375 motor braking variable from 0 to 20 amps, um, which will provide a load for the um, hub motor to spin at. And then we'll basically keep the hub motor spinning at a, a certain RPM, which will then make a, um, a really sweet dyno little setup without giving us torque, it'll give us amps, voltage, watts, things like that. Cool. this so Jason's holding that still okay so at the moment we're gonna hit 15 amps braking current so Jason's struggling a little bit there but the hub motor is producing 10.5 amps the inertion motor is putting out around about 15 amps braking current as you can see that if we get this all the way up to 20 amps. Jason is very much struggling to hold this thing. You can see they're still moving. The hub motor is producing about 15, spiking up there about 18, but sitting about 17 amps while it's producing 20 amps braking current, which is pretty sweet. So we're going to release the braking motor and just lift it off right Jason Jason just lift it off okay so we just released both motors that was mesmerizing. so this motor hub motor was doing about 16 amps constant and what do you think Jason that's hot but how long were we doing that for yeah it's probably I've got a temperature How do you turn it on? Yeah, it's good to go. 45 degrees C. Yeah. So that's that's quite reasonable. Yeah, 45 degrees C. 47. After what? A minute or two of constant. Yeah, 45. That's the that's the center core. Yeah, the center core. The outside plate is only 40. Let's see if we can get an internal bearing reading. Forty-six that bearing. Yeah, 46. so obviously the core, the iron, is gonna pull heat straight to the aluminium shaft and get up to about 41 degrees. Yeah. It's not not really hot. We were chucking through the 18 amps for over a minute. Which is pretty damn sweet, do you think? Yeah. It's, once again, it's a bench test, but it's very promising. Nothing, nothing is on fire. I hold my finger on there for... Let's see if we can get up to 30 seconds. Gets quite nasty after about five seconds. But, um, yeah, so both BLDCs running. This is basically how I'm going to set up my dyno. So two BLDCs running. I'm going to set up a, a variable braking force for one motor, a more powerful motor than what we're spinning, and then set a constant RPM for the other one so it's going to continually up the amps to keep at that rpm level 
um, and then I'm going to get a torque cell, basically hook it onto the, um, basically in this case it would be hooking it onto the inertia motor um, and then reading how much torque is actually being applied there or how much weight um, and then we can do some awesome physics and maths and get a, a torque reading, a horsepower reading, things like that.